Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook. Yeah, let me cook. <laughs> So yes, uh, for the part two, I have not to think about how I'm gonna to start it all, that you can really understand why I'm doing this and why it's so important. Um, I have shown you this lots of times on my YouTube videos, um, or let's say on my YouTube channel. Uh, these are things that no one else shows you, and that's why it's very important that you guys check your cooler, check your heat spreaders. So we got here a problem on the PlayStation 3, or let's say nearly on every heat spreader, um, that the heat spreader sometimes they are bent. Sometimes they are bent like that, sometimes they are bent like that. It conforms which heat spreader and also the coolers, they are really bent. I'm gonna now just explain you one thing. So um, let me not just zoom a little bit. So this is gonna be part two that you guys understand what I'm talking about. Let's say, um, this is now the heat spreader and we're gonna just do it like that so that you can see um, the heat spreader is like that it's just yeah more or less let's see yeah some kind of so and now you have here let's say um, uh, the cooler okay so the cooler sits let's say directly over here and it ends there okay so here on the top is the cooler and down here is the heat spreader okay so here hope you can see that so the thing is when all is really in the line and all is okay also with the thermal paste all gonna get really contact but now let's say your cooler is just um i'm gonna just make it like this your cooler is some kind of, it goes up a little bit and it goes down and it stops over here. And let's say this is the heat spreader. Okay. So let's go till here. So this is the heat spreader. And this is the cooler. So now you can see here, you got lots of space where the thermal paste will not really work okay um yeah the thermal paste is there but you have no contact so let's not just zoom a little bit so you guys can see that better here now you can see this is the cooler this is the heat spreader but yeah it doesn't matter you can also say this is the cooler and this is the heat spreader here you can see this space you have let's say no contact and um that's why you have let's say a lots of issues um, now people say, ah, oh, here, but you have the thermal paste, which gonna solve this problem. No, it gonna not. It's gonna just a little bit, of course, yes. But you will not have the best, let's say, contact to the cooler. Okay, it needs the best contact to the cooler is 100% contact to the cooler and to the heat spreader. I have shown you this lots of times on PlayStation 4 on PS5, on PlayStation 3, that we still have this issue here. We have this problem that sometimes we have bent heat spreaders or we have bent heat sinks or coolers, okay? Um, if you have a bent cooler, let's say just like it makes like that, okay, so here, <laughs> and it ends like here, so, you're gonna have the heat spreader or the cooler, doesn't matter, like I told you, you're gonna have it here. But then here, it's already, again, missing something. Sometimes you have also, let's say, the issue that um, it goes really like a hill, okay? I'm gonna not just demonstrate you that so good as I can. And you need to understand, you need to watch this under the microscope. So now... Um, Let's say the cooler or the heat sink is sitting over here. Okay, and like I told, um, doesn't matter if this is the heat sink or the cooler. You can already see here again that we have no contact um, to the heat spreader or to the cooler, like I told. Okay, this and more, I'm gonna now show you. Um, let me just zoom back a little bit. I'm gonna show you now. With this small tool here, we're gonna check 
if all is flat, or let's say if all is really in the line, and with this kind of tool here, in German we call this Haarlineal. <laughs> I need to take a look how it calls in um, English. But I can recommend to all of you peoples, get you one like that. Get you one like that, because just then you're gonna see how your cooler is really and how your heat spreaders are really, okay? Um, I got here, let's say a heat spreader. I don't know if you can see it. I have left it just a little bit. See that? I think it was with 400 paper. Um, this is the heat spreader from the R6 and you can see here that I have left it long time ago. So this is now just for myself to explain you this guys. Um, this heat spreader was like that on all the corners. The heat spreader was some, some kind of bent up and um, it was not really touching the cooler. And that's why I have left it. So then you can see, aha, uh -huh, it touches the cooler. The thermal paste is going to spread even better and you're going to not need a lot of pressure from the clamps because later you got your clamps, which going to cause you, or let's say, bring you the right pressure, yeah, more or less. And this is very important that you guys can see that. So this one here, I'm going to not just put it to the side. Then I got here a stock or let's say a standard original RSX. Never lap it before like you can see here. Just deleted it for the last video. You can see here. Okay. Never lap it before. And then we got here um, the cell heat spreader from a PlayStation 3 Fat Edition. And also here. Never lap it before, all is original and uh, I'm sorry for the focus sometimes. And now we're gonna go and test this guys, also here the cooler, that's really very important what I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna test the cooler if they are flat or if they are bent or not, because this is very important for the pressure, for the cooling and for the rest, for, for all, you see? so. This is very important, what I'm going to show you here. And that's why, I don't know, but sometimes I don't know if people's um, listening to what I say. Sometimes I think I'm just talking for nothing and uh, so much information. But sometimes I, I really don't know. I really don't know because I have made a lot of videos also about the PlayStation 4, which had uh, a big issue with the APU, which was bent already, caused it, I think, yeah, probably because of the heat, because if your PlayStation overheats too long or let's say for a long time over years, um, probably the, um, let's say the die gonna bend a little bit. And um, the problem is also, like I told, the coolers itself, when they was not made really great, you're gonna have problems on the beginning. So this cooler here was from the PlayStation 5. I got the PlayStation 5 second generation. And um, this was the cooler that was in my PlayStation 5. I wanted just to take off and just to take a look inside. Then I took this here and I tried to check out if it was bent or not. And I was shocked with this one here. So here you can see a little bit that um, there was a, a small dot. See that? So here just a small dot and I have just cleaned it away because... Um, long time ago where I have done this video there was some kind of dot I don't know how to explain you so this was disturbing and when you just pass with your fingernail over there you could hear it and that's why I have just lap it here really with about 800 paper not really much because this is here nickel plated and it should be nickel plated if you use let's say liquid metal thermal paste it should really be electric nickel plated otherwise the liquid metal thermal paste gonna get hard with the time okay so and that's why it's also the reason why i do myself electric nickel plating my heat spreaders or let's say my coolers sometimes i do that for notebooks sometimes i do that for graphics cards it conforms so that's why it's really important also to know that liquid metal thermal paste just lasts really longer if all is really uh, let's say electric nickel plated otherwise the oxidation gonna uh, let's say yeah get the liquid metal thermal paste a little bit hard with the time and liquid metal thermal paste just works wonderful as long it stays liquid now no, no more talk, talk.
So now finally I found the best place uh, to show you that because it's really hard. Um, we need some lights uh, on the background like you can see. And then now just take a look how this looks like. Okay, here you can see now this is the best proof that you can see the, let's say, heatsink itself is bent. We got on the left side lots of lights and I'm gonna now just move it a little bit, wait. And then you can see it now uh, really great. Um, I'm gonna now just hold it like that. And now here you can see on the right side and on the left side we have lots of space. See that? Okay, finally I got it work that it stays sharp and a lot zoom. I'm gonna now even zoom a little bit more. Um, take a look on this shit here. So this is the side, sorry again for the lights. Um, and I need to zoom again. So this is the side from the cell. And here you can see that's bullshit. I'm here really in the, in the middle. I'm gonna push him more to the left that you can see. So, and I'm gonna now just push him to the left and I'm gonna press it down. Now look the space on the right side. This is the biggest shit I have ever saw. Okay. And you can now see we have the same problem here in the middle. So in the middle, we called lap it a little bit. And um, this will be better. And that's why I have made this mini heat spreaders. Because in the middle, they're going to just have a better contact and as well a better pressure. Because you're going to not need so much pressure. Because the heat spreaders will be smaller. But now here again, you can see this is just bullshit. Okay, so the CPU side is bullshit. All right, um, I'm gonna now just let it somewhere, and because I really got blind, let me not just take a look on the front, how it looks there. <laughs> okay, I don't need to talk um, about that shit. So here finally now I got it to work and you can see, sorry I'm shaking really so much but it's so, so much zoom here. here. You can see the RSX side is really not bad, okay. Um, look at this. It's just, yeah, really not bad, okay. This is normally how it should look like and uh, they should probably do that on every cooler, every heatsink every hit spreader. And see in the place to be and see